And he said to his friend, God is like a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And he puts us in the fire. And sometimes he has to hammer us. And sometimes he has to throw in that cold water. And he said, my prayer to God is, Lord, do whatever you need to do. So that, so that my character is the kind of character that glorifies your name. When Israel went into captivity, God went with them. He didn't abandon them. When we go into trials, God goes with us. He does not abandon us. We may not be able to understand them or explain them or figure them out. That's not our job. Our job is to stay close to God. Because He stays close to us. So my friends, when you hear about these horrible things that happen in the world, don't blame God. Blame the devil. He's the one who introduced sin to this world. We say, Lord, help me be patient. Lord, help me to trust you. Whatever this trial brings, whether it's natural disasters or cancer or sickness or a breakup of a family, whatever horrific trial that the devil throws at you. Let your prayer be, Lord, help me to trust you. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, I don't want any trials. But I know, Lord, that in those trials, my character is formed. Father, my prayer to you, like the blacksmith, is Lord, help me to, help me to trust you. In Christ's name, amen.
thank you for the vision of your holiness that you gave to your prophet Ezekiel. Thank you for the, the hope and the assurance that he gave us, that you gave to us through him. Father, as we leave this place, as we start a new week, open our eyes to opportunities of sharing your love with people we come in contact with. Help us to point them to Jesus, no matter what's going on in their life. Help them to realize that you will never abandon them. All this I pray, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ.